In this video, I will show you how to dive onto an S-wrap and how to proceed from there into a wheel down. It doesn't matter how you get into your S-wrap, I'm going to use the one shot. And this is an S-wrap on my right side. All right, so pass the tail over your front and from there you're going to climb above your hooked knee and turn your back to the pole. All right, I'm gonna give it a little turn so you can see better. But from here, we're gonna dive down, grab the tail, pause, and then proceed. And I will talk more about this in a moment. So grab, pause, and then go ahead and begin your wheel down. So you should definitely already have a wheel down on lock before you dive onto one. But let's slow this down and look at it in more detail. So when you wrap this S-wrap, you do want to make sure you've got some space above you so that you can climb above and you've got some space below you so that you can wheel down. Wherever your S-wrap is, that's where your dive will end. So just so you know. So you're turning your back to the pole and then reaching your hands both above. So both of your hands, if you hold them out in front of you right now, that's pretty much how they're going to grab on the tail, but they're going to be angled toward the right or toward the direction that the tail is leading. So they're both going to grab right next to each other and you're going to push your tail away from you, which is going to end up pretty much being like you're pushing it um, up and then you roll onto your back. So you're pushing it up toward the sky, which you'll see in just a moment. So I've got my legs really strong behind me, squeezing my glutes. And I'm going to look down for my tail, make that visual contact. Then the hands are going to release at the same time. They're going to turn. See how I turned my hands? Push. That is going to stop you from going anywhere else so that you can pause. So you're basically doing like a rotation with your dive. And then once you are totally in control, then you can start to go into your wheel down. So you let the fabric move through your hands as you rotate down. So it's a very, very controlled transition. You can definitely speed it up, um, but when you're starting out, you really wanna emphasize that break between the dive and the wheel down itself. The rest is just your classic wheel down, nothing different. All right, I'm gonna show you guys another angle on it. All right, so this is really important to do correctly and I will explain why. Releasing your hands, you can see my thumbs are next to each other, palms down, and they're gonna angle slightly to the right so that they're laying next to each other on the fabric. See how I grab on? Okay, thumbs are next to each other. From there, super important, push it away and to the left. You must end with that wrap to the left of the pole or else you will fall out. Now you can see you're just in the normal hand position for a wheel down, so you are good to go. You do not need to reposition. But I do wanna show you that again because it's really important. You, you see, if you go to the right of the pole at this moment, you will fall. And you may have some amount of wrap around you still, but it's not gonna be fun, it's not gonna feel good. So you must transition to that position, you must push your hands over to the left side of the pole if you are in a right side wheel down. So do be very aware of that, and you can definitely practice this close to the ground with a mat when you are starting out. All right, have fun you guys, and be safe.